the soundtrack to my life. Makeup montage, here we go. Good morning everybody, how are we all doing today? It's Monday, we have a nice fresh start to the week. I'm in a very good mood. I have just done fresh hair and makeup. I really like my hair now. My fringe is getting long enough to flip. Very happy about that. It'll probably last for like 0.25 seconds today before it gets annoying, but yeah, I really like it like flipped over with this outfit, which I'm also loving today. This is a little basic black crop top. I'll link everything below and these trousers are from Reformation. You can get these actually on Farfetch and side note this video is going to contain a paid for integrated partnership with Farfetch. You can get the normal versions of these on Farfetch. I'm actually wearing the petite version which I love. The length is so good. I'm looking very like 2003 today by the way. I'm so aware of it but I like it. I love these trousers. I am like a little bit obsessed with them. I've been really excited to get back off my holidays so that I could actually wear them because obviously in Ibiza and before Ibiza I was sweating. So yeah the weather is actually cool enough today to wear these so very happy about that. I've then just got my Nike Air Force Ones on which I actually also got from Farfetch because literally nowhere had stock of Air Force Ones except Farfetch so you can get them on there and I do have a discount code I don't know why my voice is going like this I will pop it on the screen and I have some things that will hopefully be arriving today that I'm gonna show you because I did a little Farfetch order which I'm really excited about so yeah I will put my code on the screen and you can use it to shop any of the Farfetch items that I show throughout this video that is my little outfit of the day nice and simple I'm gonna go make some teas now be right back better about my sugar consumption in my hot drinks. It's also so funny when you give the builders your mugs because all of my mugs either have boobs or sassy quotes on them and I can literally see them like getting the mug and like looking at it like and showing everyone. Nala is on her daily escape from the house. She is hating life right now. I have some things to share with you. This is the kind of start of my summer to autumn transitional wardrobe switchover. And I'm very, very excited because I have picked up some things from Farfetch, which as you guys know, is just one of my favorite places to shop. One of the reasons being because they have an epic loyalty program, which I love. You basically go up with the more you spend through the loyalty program and you get discounts. You get like birthday discounts, but every time you go into a new tier, there's like another discount. So I've just moved up a tier and I've got like a X amount of money off my next purchase, which I'm very excited about. Still deciding what I'm going to spend it on, but I also love it because they basically work with boutiques around the world. So that's why it comes in like bits and bobs. But in doing that, it means that they get access to stock that other retailers just don't have. So I've managed to get some amazing pieces. My yellow bag that some of you might remember that I still, I still have that. That was exclusive to, I think, a certain region at the time. It's now available like, everywhere. And at the time, Farfetch was the only retailer that had access to that. So it's really great for bits like that. If you want to get your hands on some Nike Dunks or some New Balance, it's amazing for that as well. Any kind of trainers, they are amazing for. So those are just a few of the reasons why I love Farfetch. 
product. They also have Beauty Now as well, which is also so good because they have some really amazing brands on there that I struggle to get hold of everywhere else. So the Sarah Chapman 3D facial masks. Oh, love those. So yeah, that is my long list of reasons. That's not even like, that's just the tip of the iceberg on why I love Farfetch, but they have been my go-to for picking up some key new pieces for my autumn winter wardrobe. So firstly, I feel like we're kicking this off with a real Marmite love-hate kind of product. I could not resist this bucket hat, you know, I love a bucket hat. I love my Anne Bing bucket hat, the in black, the black one, I love it so much. And they do this woven one and <laughs> this might actually need to come in a different size. It reminds me of Jack Jones, he wore a giant fluffy bucket hat to Ibiza Rocks recently and he looked really cute in it, but I'm not sure it's the vibe for me. Yeah, I'm gonna get this in medium just because I feel like it's a little bit too tight on my head. And I love like the floppiness of a bucket hat, if that makes sense. And this feels a bit too structured. I don't know. Oh, so cute like, imagine it floppier. Imagine it floppier. I love it. It's so nice. I love the Anine Bing fabrics that they have. So they have like a few recurring fabrics. They have a bag in this kind of fabric as well, which I think is really cute. Okay, we have a couple more bits from Anine Bing here. There's no point in me making a brand because I think if I made a brand, it would be so similar to Anine Bing. So it would just be pointless. What I'm trying to say is, it is just everything I love style-wise in a brand like they do. Cute activewear, bucket hats, cute blazers, t-shirts, like slogan sweaters, slogan t-shirts, that kind of thing. Nice bags, nice sliders, and you know I'm a big fan of sliders, like it just as a brand, love. And I had actually been wanting a t-shirt from an Inbing for a while, and I've gone for this one, which I really like. It's kind of simple, but like it's statement enough. The quality of their t-shirts are really nice as well. We have a store in Brighton that sells an Inbing stuff, and I've been in it like had a little scope out of the t-shirts before and i do really like the like quality of them so i got this in a size medium i think yeah size m because i wanted it to be more of like an oversized fit i am excited to wear it like right now with just like chunky boots and maybe like a little pair of shorts underneath it can be that perfect like summer to autumn transitional piece but i also think it would look really nice tucked into the black trousers that i'm wearing today be a little bit more edgy so yeah this will be a lovely go-to for me to have in my wardrobe and I think over the autumn months it'll just be really nice. And then I thought I would show you guys this bag because it is a really, really good dupe for a bag that I have and I think we all know the one that I'm thinking of. What I do with my other one, it's a long strap, so I like cross the straps over and then fold the flap over it so that it's like a 90s style bag. But this one is basically the same or like really, really similar texture, fabric, that kind of vibe. It's actually a bit more of a house too, which is really funny because I have seen a name being photographed with the bag that I originally wanted in this kind of like hound's toothy tweed so she's obviously made her own version and I love that but in like a more 90s style I just think it's so cute it's a really good size and the price is so good for a more expensive brand the quality is lovely like I I love this this is so nice it's got like a little twisty Glass pops open really easy actually like not too stiff. I feel like it's got a little bit of give so you can fit a good amount in it This is a really good size bag. So yeah, if you want like the vibe of the kind of tweed bag I have but you don't want the price tag This this is so nice. I really like it. I just want to put the t-shirt on like straight away I'm gonna try it on. Oh, yeah That is a good fit. I really like the longer sleeves on this as well. I love a long sleeve on a t-shirt okay next one what have we got in here so we have this body it's from jacquemus and it's a brand that i'm quickly loving more and more at the moment so it's like a black body it's actually quite high on the, the leg that's cool so it's black it's button up and then it has a little collar as well and i thought this would just be so nice with a pair of high-waisted jeans or a pair of like white trousers this would look so nice with even a skirt i would absolutely love this with a skirt to be fair. There's a certain like kind of look that I'm really after at the moment. I think it's gonna be one of my key go-to looks for autumn, but it's like black skirt, black little like loafers, white socks. That's the kind of that 
accessorizing that I'm thinking of. And I think this would fit quite nicely with the black skirt and then like a little loafer situation. I think I might have actually ordered some black loafers. They haven't arrived yet, but I'm pretty sure I've ordered some black loafers. And there's a few outfits that I think they would work really, really nicely with. And then this little set is lovely. I'm really looking forward to trying this on. So this is a little set from Reformation. It's like a black denim set with gold buttons. So we've got the skirt, really sweet, like button up detailing down the skirt. And then the top is just like a really, also very sweet little denim black top, you know? They can be worn separately, they can be worn together, but this could be worn with like t-shirts and things like that, or shirts. And then obviously I could pair this with black jeans, trousers, that kind of vibe. So they work really well together but they also work separately but you have to buy them together that they come as a set and i thought these would go really well if i were to do like a loafer sock situation that is a look that i'm particularly excited about for autumn along with these trousers if they work because they could not also just with trousers with me i just never know if the length is going to be good but they're basically these tan leather trousers i really hope these look good on i really hope these look good on i've actually never owned a pair of leather trousers that aren't black before so we're gonna see these could be a real hit or miss item i've got these in a size i think i went for a size 10 because they're from a brand i don't know it's the brand remain and i think they have german sizing that's what it said when i was buying them i've got a 36 i thought it would be better to size up and air on the side of portion so we're gonna try those on those could be a real miss i'm not sure we'll see next we have waters in here oh yeah i'm really looking forward to trying this on so this is a little crop top from jacquemus which looks so strange when it's not on but i'm gonna pop a photo of what it looked like on the model here because i have been eyeing this up for so long because it looks like my perfect like autumnal crop top and i thought this would be a perfect one to take me actually from now in the summer actually through till like the winter because i could see me wearing this with a pair of leather trousers and then a coat over the top because it's got that longer sleeve everything i'm going for at the moment has more of a three-quarter length kind of sleeve purely because i think it's like a really nice sleeve length to have from going from summer into autumn and then finally i am so excited about this i may have bought a bag and i feel like i need to warn some of you that i may have also bought another bag in my defense not that i need to defend my spending to anyone because i'm a 30 year old woman but what was my defense i have no defense i have no defense i bought two bags so this is number one this is more my off duty kind of bag for autumn winter i feel like this autumn winter in addition to the looks that are like revolving around like my loafers i also want to go for just some things that are like a little bit more how do i explain this i'm really feeling like the susie 2013 vibes at the moment so just like a few more tough looking pieces in my wardrobe i really like that kind of vibe for autumn anyway but it's just something that i want to like bring in a little bit more this season are you ready i feel like you could probably guess you could probably guess. So I know, I almost went for this in a very fruity colour and I really mean it when I say fruity. Oh my god. That is gorgeous. Now, as a lot of you will know, I do own a Balenciaga City and when they brought out this, I can't actually remember what this is, the full name of this is. No. It's gone. It's left my brain. Anyway, it's like very similar to the Balenciaga City, which a lot of you will know I own in black suede with like this vivid like yellow gold hardware. It is stunning. I'm actually looking at it right now because I have used it recently. It's in my office with me. However, lots of you will know if you've heard me talk about this before this bag that because it's suede, I don't get to use it during autumn winter, even though I love it so much. And Obviously I was saying earlier in the year, I was really excited because Y2K was coming back, which meant that Balenciaga City was having a comeback. I've dug it out this year. I've been wearing it so much. I've been really enjoying it. So I decided to get this little mini because actually it's quite a good size. This isn't the mini. This is actually like the small. So it's a good size. I decided to pick this up because it is in this gorgeous textured leather. It's got like silver hardware, but the little button details on it are almost like a little bit more of a nickel 
type silver if that makes sense they're a little bit darker it looks a little bit more edgy i really like it and i'm really glad i went for some kind of silver detailing over the gold because i obviously have the gold on my balenciaga city do you know what i love about these bags as well is that they always come with a mirror the Balenciaga City I have has a mirror, but it's a rectangle. And these ones come with this really cute little heart. I love that. I actually almost got this. Oh, cute. It has a little mini. Oh, love that. What was I saying? I almost got this in like the lime, like yellowy green color. I still think about it like every single day, but I just obviously for the price, I was like, I can't justify that. It needs to be something that I will repeat wear and get love out of for a really long time and all of my black bags when i do my bag collections they're always the ones that have like stayed in my wardrobe either black or like sometimes neutral still doesn't work like but the black ones have like a solid place in my wardrobe oh, it's just so cool and i love the fact you can make the straps longer so these straps that like, you can adjust it so it can be longer you could wear it like cross body like more of a satchel if you wanted to i am so happy with that so that is my autumn small bag of choice it's gonna fit such a good amount in it as well like this is my phone case size for reference it actually makes the bag look so small but this bag is actually quite big phone vlogging camera keys makeup easy peasy not the whole makeup bag obviously but like a bit of makeup comes with a mirror so i don't need to throw like a mirror in there this will fit like a decent amount this is a good day bag which is why i went for the small and not the extra small because i wanted like a good day bag so yeah i'm very happy with that so we've got a front pocket back pocket main event in the center i love the fact that it's just super easy to like get open a lot of my smaller bags are harder to maneuver let's just say that stunning very very happy with this oh yeah see ya just kidding we're gonna cut now to what everything looks like on this feels like a proper tv show setup this is what the builders have reduced me to because they're slowly killing my soul it's a lot noisier than i thought it would be okay guys and in my defense my neighbor is also now having work done as well so it's just it's been non-stop today it has been non-stop anyway we're gonna cut now to what everything looks like on let me know what you think i should keep or return because I really did take a risk on some of these pieces so I don't think I'm going to be keeping everything so let me know what you think I should keep or return in the comments below we can decide together oh my god you guys I've just seen what this outfit looks like in full and I need to show you okay guys are you ready I am obsessed with this it's so cute even with the flare trousers I really like it what do you guys think okay so Lauren has said she likes the bucket hat although she sees my point on Jax Jones, so can everyone let me know whether we think the bucket hat is cute or not? Thanks. Okay. Jack Moose, little black top, what do we think? I really like it. I'd maybe like to wear a bra with it or some kind of tape, but I think it's really cute. It fits really nicely. You don't get any like VPL through jeans, which is good because that is probably the way I'd ideally wear this the most, I think. I think it's quite a relaxed kind of top and it just suits a blue jean kind of look. I've just kept my air force ones on with it i really like it i like the low cutness of it i think it works really well especially with like loose wavy hair it's just a really nice relaxed but pulled together look i also think it would look very nice with the anine bing bag in the houndstooth what do we think i think this works really well it also looks really nice with the balenciaga as well yeah obsessed obsessed with this bag next up we have the leather trousers what do you guys think they are a little bit long on me so i have had to go for a heel please ignore my green toes they're my summer toes they're obviously not my summer to autumn toes my toes are still in ibiza people <laughs> so ignore those but i don't know i really like these they are a bit baggy around the waist though which is slightly annoying so they probably would need a belt also what is it about leather trousers and feeling like you're in a hundred degree heat as soon as you put them on. I am already sweated, but I'm hot here. I'm hot up, up my top half. I'm not even hot down my bottom half. What is, why is that? I think they are really nice, like such a nice autumnal staple to have in your wardrobe, but it is kind of annoying that I feel slightly limited to wearing these with a heel. But yeah, I think they're a really nice like summer to autumn or maybe more autumn to be honest because it's still very warm but that point where we're like at the end of summer and it's cooled down 
a little bit. I feel like these are a really great item to have in your wardrobe, but maybe I need something that's like slightly better and slightly more wearable for every day on the leg length. I absolutely love this two piece set. I knew I would from the second I put it in my basket. It's so nice and I'm really impressed with the length on this actually. I didn't order it in petite or anything like that and the length on the leg is really nice. You could wear it lower down as well if you wanted. I've just kind of like positioned it here but I could probably pull it down a little bit more if I needed to. And then I've just popped it on with Converse but I think this would also look lovely with a lace up boot as well as we move more into like cooler weather and I can finally get my leather boots and my lace up boots back on my feet. Yeah, I really like it. I think I got a size four which I always get in Reformation stuff. It does mean that things like run slightly big, but I just feel like a two on me sometimes is a little bit too much. So the skirt's got like a decent amount of room in it, but I love that because it means that like I can always eat in Reformation stuff. So yeah, I went for a four. I have, I think my trousers though, I think my trousers were a two and they just about go over my butt. So yeah, bear that in mind when you're ordering. I am quite typically like a solid UK size eight now. So yeah, if you're ordering, that's just what I take. I'm just saying this would look cute with the bucket hat too. I'll stop with the bucket hat now. I'll stop, I'll stop. Okay, so this is the look that I like have planned out in my head for this top which didn't look how I expected it to when it arrived. It's definitely thinner than I expected it to be. However, I do really like it because it has, it's like quite a high neck, right? Like super high and very tight. It has this mechanism on the back that's attached to like the zip and then the top of the top. And when I was unboxing it, I was like, what the hell is going on here? But what you do is you use it to like zip yourself into the top and you tuck it into the back of your top. And it's amazing because Obviously, how else would you get into this top? I didn't even think about that. Yeah, I really love this. I think it looks so cool with like my high-waisted jeans. I actually haven't worn these in so long. I've really missed them. I've got my Air Force Ones, Balenciaga bag. I really like this look. This is exactly what I envisioned when I saw this top and I'm glad it worked. I also love the idea of wearing this t-shirt with a little pair of shorts underneath. This bag and these boots, these are an old pair of boots, I think. I'll try and link them if they're still available. How cute is that? I love this. Ryan needs to get like a last minute booking for like Reading or Leeds or something. I think that will have like happened by the time this video goes live, but oh, that would be great. I'm a bit obsessed with this t-shirt, not gonna lie. This bag, oh, these are like my, these are my star items. Good evening everybody. It's time to get this makeup off. You know when you just like need your makeup off immediately? That is how I'm feeling right now. We're gonna do some exfoliating this evening because this stuff does good things for my skin. I really like it. You can see I really like it. If anyone remembers, I actually bought this fairly recently. I've been using it a lot more than I ever expected to, if I'm honest. I usually don't get on with like glycolic type products, but actually this hasn't broken me out at all. So I'm so impressed. This spot is on, honestly, this spot is stress related. And yeah, it's good for like sorting out my pigmentation. However, I would say I probably won't take this on holiday again because I just feel like if you are sitting outside a lot, there is not enough SPF in all of the world. So this will probably be one that I use when I'm home still with SPF. So it's the Ready Steady Glow by Ren. Love that. Leave it to do its work. It tingles a little bit. And then after I just go in with the Ren Ever Calm Barrier Support Elixir. It's just a very nice, gentle oil. So I like to use those two in conjunction with each other because I don't want to use any other actives after that really steady glow. I'm gonna do a full range of mine today, but this is one of my favorite eye creams as well. It's the Keep Yaga Beautiful Firm and Lift Eye Cream. I mean, I love the name. That's the aim of my game. That is my skincare done. I'm going to go feed the shrimp and make myself some dinner. So tonight I'm gonna to be making a spicy green chili and tomato and olive kind of like pasta sauce. We're gonna have a little bit of lemon, a little bit of parsley, chili, sandra tomatoes, green olives. These chilies are so good. Like I can just eat them. I just eat them 
straight out of the jar. Mm, love them. I'm doing some fresh tomatoes and just cooking them down at the moment. And then I'm going to add all of these bits, cook the pasta, add parsley, lemon juice, all of the good stuff into here. Maybe add a little bit of spinach as well. But yeah, that's going to be my dinner tonight. doing my skincare this is the last step i am obsessed Ooh, i'm obsessed with this spf it is the i don't think i've shown this in a vlog yet i actually can't remember it's the la roche posay anthelios 50 spf 50 plus but it's got like a tint to it i don't know if you'll be able to see i love this because a lot of my spfs that i've used have always made me look like a little bit washed out even though there's no like they're completely clear and there's not really like a tint to them They've always just made me look a bit washed out, whereas this actually gives me a little bit of a glow and I really like it. Today, I am going to have a little bit of a sort out in my wardrobe room. I know, I know, didn't I just do this? I know. But my friend who helps me with my Depop, she's coming around this evening. So I need to basically get everything ready for her. I think today I want to focus on knitwear and just going through some of my knitwear, seeing what I want to wear this autumn and if there's anything that I didn't wear last autumn and that I just don't see myself wearing, then I will pop it on Depop in time for you guys to buy it in time for autumn. I kind of like to do that with my Depop so that it's current season stuff that you would want to be wearing. So that is what I am going to be doing today along with a bit of podcast writing, but that's super boring. Like this is the annoying thing about being a YouTuber and then having a podcast because there is nothing fun for me to show you because it's literally just me like making notes. For the occasion today, I'm wearing my favorite, my current favorite piece of knitwear. I think this might be my fa all time favorite piece of knitwear, but yeah, this is my little Jacqueline's cardigan. It's like a cropped cardi. I love it. It's so nice. When I first got it, I was like, this material, this is going to be itchy AF, but it's actually not. I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm very happy to say it's not itchy at all. By the way, I think my code my code works on this and they have, I think, fresh stock of this colour as well. Because when I bought this colour, I actually got it in sale. Dreamy. So I actually paid less than I probably would for like an and other stories piece of knitwear. I was so happy. But yeah, they have it on at the moment. I think my code works on it. They have it in this colour, which at the time they didn't have it in this colour. They have it in so many colours. I'm so tempted to get like a few colours but I might wait until they go on sale again because that was great and I love wearing them with these earrings that Amelia gave me from her brand Rainy they're so so cool they're like princess earrings I am obsessed with them I wear them in like my third hole so yeah I wear them there and then I put in my little rainbow hoop like that and then my little star hoop earrings love that and the little pink ones just go so well with this cardigan. Also, I just wanted to quickly say, before I leave the bathroom, I've been using this Moon Pen. It's like a teeth whitening product. I've had it sitting in my cupboard for ages. Fun fact, I actually hadn't whitened my teeth since, I think I did it in a video at the beginning of lockdown and I hadn't done it since because I was like, well, I'm not seeing anyone, so what's the point? Literally this month I was like, I just feel like they need a little bit of whitening. And I obviously always use a whitening toothpaste I use this one matches my top but yeah i decided to start using it and i think i'm about like five days in and they do look so much like whiter but like in a really natural way which i really like definitely 
keeping this one. Also definitely keeping this one. Basically, I know I'm keeping the ones on the top because they're the ones that I've actually worn. This one I haven't worn, but it's like a Celine dupe, so I feel like I'm gonna keep that for a bit longer. Okay, I have too many brown jumpers, so say goodbye to that one. Keep this one. I love this cardigan, it's falling apart, but I love it. Still obsessed with this. we are done there is space the drawer can now come out which is amazing the space for the cardigan that i am wearing right there which is also amazing because before it was like living up here along with my little knitted dress which i showed you in last week's vlog which could also go live down there now as well maybe we have all of this that is going to go on my depop we've got some jeans as well because i sorted those out so i'm going to try and get those live this evening along with some shoes that i have over there like boots like lots of very autumnal items i also may have to change because i am sweating it is not knitwear season okay depop is done i have changed into something very comfortable because i have changed about five billion times today and you know my hair god just woke up and it was flat put dry shampoo in it and now it's just poking out everywhere i cannot win today you know when you've been shopping and you've tried on about a million pairs of clothes and you're just like i'm tired and i'm hot and i'm grumpy and that's that's what doing depop does to me it's why i do it in small bursts so that is why <laughs> i've been very uninventive with my outfit today but anyway i just finished filming a little haul for my tiktok and i was also partially unpacking for my visa because i still have not done that so we are going to have a tidying montage <laughs> If you want it safe, no builders here. I'll show you what you guys. Matte Honey Love is just a different breed of lipstick. It is so gorgeous. It's like a satin or matte finish. I don't know because the bottom has. I bought it and it never had a bottom. I have no info on it. It works well with any makeup look, day or night, would highly recommend. Also, I need to show you my updated makeup soon because it is kind of just really funny the way I've been doing it. I'm gonna have to do that in a vlog because I did it earlier and I was basically just laughing at myself. So as I'm sure you can see, I've made a bit of a mess this morning. I have been trying on a few different outfits, some for Ibiza because I kind of wanted to put together some like autumnal looking summer outfits for anyone that's still kind of got holidays going on into October. This is a few dresses that I've been trying on, but just kind of making them look a bit more like autumn-y. Also just been trying on some new outfit combos in general. I really like, I'll pop clips over the top. There's a summer dress bag combo I love, but I also love this top, but with my black jeans. They're like straight leggy, almost like flared. They're wide leg, that's the word, wide leg jeans. And it looks so good. The jeans actually have a silver button on them, so it clashes, but I put my Balenciaga belt on over the top and it looks so good. So you will have just seen that. I feel like with a pair of Converse, it would just look really cool. Maybe my Balenciaga City. But yeah, today I'm just wearing the top with the skirt, making the most of the fact that the weather is still nice and it's still really nice and warm. I've just got some black flats on with it because I just wanted something nice and easy. But this look also looks really nice with white shirt over the top, that kind of thing. I think I'm going to get a lot of wear out of this. I really like it. Throw on a pair of sunnies and I am good to go today. But yeah, other than trying on a load of outfits, I've also just been like trying to process my EasyJet refund and just going through a lot of invoices, trying to find everything. It's a whole ordeal, but it's fine. <laughs> Sí, 
Oh God, honestly, all the creeps are out today. One guy did this weird, I'm gonna laugh, but it's not funny because it's not funny. One guy did this weird thing with his tongue at me, which honestly makes me want to sew up my vagina forever. It's too hot for this, like it's just, I was stupidly went out like fully in a full active wear set and I am just roasting, absolutely roasting. Just come for the So in any bed, anybody in me, in any ways, I go on a way. You know what I need, baby, nothing is eating. You go to get every day. And we don't need a plan. Not you are what I want. Two of us, one on one. Who's home? Hi. <laughs> have you been with your dad today? Did you have fun? Did you have fun? Oh, look who's back! Oh, <laughs> scary, I the no, I'm being chefed for tonight. Has that been ages? It has been so long. Although Ryan's mum just rang, and when he was on the phone, he obviously said he was cooking dinner. I was like, oh my god, it just looks to everyone like you always cook dinner. I just wanted to pipe in and be like, but I have cooked for like every single night for like the past few weeks. Not that. Well, that's an over exaggeration. Way. No, but like I have cooked so much lately and i was like oh god it just always looks like you are main chef but you are main chef i'm just standing what are you cooking tonight rose harissa paste sausage pasta mm, i'm so excited for this capers spinach and broccoli oh nice i've been having my pre-dinner warm-up of via life grated cheese literally just have a fork and i just go to town at it i am in my comfy clothes and oh god it feels so good to be in these clothes i just really wanted to like get into my pajamas i have spent a good two hours working on episode five i can't believe we're on episode five of the podcast but i have to record it tomorrow and i've done nothing it's my turning 30 crisis so i'm really trying to make sense of very raw feelings in my brain it's going to be interesting guys so tune in it's actually going to be a part one and part two because i've got a lot to say I think I've got a lot to say anyway. I also signed up to Skin and Me, which I have been like toying over for the best part of maybe a, over a year. Is it, has it been two? Maybe two years? Oh God, I don't even know. But obviously I was talking to you guys about my scarring. Was that this vlog or is that the vlog before? I can't remember. At some point I've talked to you about my scarring and I was talking about the Ren Ready Steady Glow low tonic stuff and my pigmentation is just very dark at the moment obviously because it's summer my skin has been better as you will all have noticed than it was during the lockdowns it was a state and when i spoke to caroline hirons and she gave me some like tips a couple of years ago when it was really really bad one of the things she said was if this doesn't work try skin and me and my skin is obviously like a lot better but i still have you can see well that's a spot but there's a lot of pigmentation on my cheeks and i'm just not fully managing to shift it like the ren stuff is good but i just want to give this a go and i also like i don't know i feel like i need professional help and this is maybe going to work out slightly better for me than seeing a facialist because that's extortionate so i'm going to give it a go and see if it works i will keep you updated but anyway that is my little update on my afternoon i'm gonna have dinner now and chill i'm so excited to eat this food anyway gotta go kettle's on bye you guys i'm exhausted my messy bun is looking pretty good apart from this bit but i'm impressed with that my hair has clearly gone to a good length i am going to go to bed i hope you have enjoyed this vlog i'm very tired so i'm just gonna wrap this up pretty quickly can't string a sentence together past 8 p.m but i love you all lots and i'll see you guys again in my next vlog which will be very very soon because i am back on the vlogging wagon the wagon i'm back on it love you bye you are just too much do you know that you are too much.